I don't recall exactly when I first heard of the ritual of Theyam, but the first proper account of it I read was in William Dalrymple's Nine Lives. It was a story called The Dancer of Kannur. And then watching the 2022 film Kantara, where a variant of the ritual forms the backbone of the story, was the final push I needed to go see them for myself. Who you ask? Kanur won me over in an instant. A beautiful seaside town that had somehow escaped my radar all these years. There's much to do here and one could spend days or weeks exploring its culinary and cultural riches. I, however, was on a mission. Teyam and its other variants are to be found mostly along the Malabar coast of India. I soon found myself in a small temple complex at a nearby village where a Teyam ritual is set to take place. The performer invokes the deity to use his body as a medium. These performers work humble jobs the rest of the year. But come Teyam season, the social hierarchy is turned on its head and it is they who become the chosen ones, those who get to become one with the divine. The offerings have been laid the frenzy of the temple drum beats intensifies. It is time for the invocation.
I am told no one is allowed to step foot inside the temple complex post the Fayim ritual, for the energy can be too much to handle. The ritual concludes with the performer, while still in a state of hypnotic trance, bestowing his blessings on the visitors and answering questions of the villagers with words from the deity herself. He endears himself to one and all. It really must feel special to be the chosen one.